It was me. No. <laughs> uh, where did you go? There you are. <laughs> this mad fucker, isn't it? Mondo, your handbook got broken in the sauna, didn't it? What? Why? Why do you keep accusing him? <laughs> Look, dude, I know he's your friend and all, but come on. Taka had an endurance contest in the sauna not too long ago. So that's what that was for. And for the contest, Mondo just so happened to keep his school uniform on. But little did he realize, he'd also left his handbook in one of his uniform pockets. And when it was all over, Mondo discovered that taking your handbook into the sauna could easily destroy it. Uh... No, wait, hold on. You've got it all wrong. He would never kill. I don't accept this. Show me the proof. The actual solid proof. Well, we could see his handbook right now to see if it actually is broken. I mean, I don't want to believe it either, but but I found out some but I found something that proves it beyond a shadow of a doubt. All right. Let's do this. State your argument! Oh, okay. Card reader, Chihiro's e-handbook, and the broken e-handbook. Holy shit, alright. That's a lot of things to talk about. Let's test Makoto's assertion. If what he says is correct, then Mondo, you broke your own handbook. In mm -hmm. other words, if Mondo's handbook is actually broken, then that proves that what Makoto said is right. Alright. Well, my goddamn handbook works just fine! See? Look! Makoto was wrong after all! Mondo wouldn't hurt a fly! How do I uh, switch my tabs again? It's out, okay. Card reader. I'm sure Mondo's handbook broke during the sauna showdown. If I could just prove that, then that will show... Well, can he just show his own handbook or something? <laughs> then that handbook Mondo has must be... Alright. Let's test Makoto's assertion. If what he says is correct, then Mondo... You broke your own handbook. All right, broken he handbook. It's my goddamn handbook. Shit, wrong button. God damn it. Works just fine. And I missed, of course. Makoto was wrong. Mondo wouldn't hurt a fly. Am I hearing dubstep in the background now? In other words, if Mondo hands me that purse, it's my goddamn handbook works just fine. Ooh, fucking pink things. Alright, what was that? The fifth or the sixth one? I'm gonna stop in the fifth just in case. Well, my goddamn handbook works just fine. There we go. No, that's wrong. Mondo, the handbook you have right now. Is it really yours? The fuck is that supposed to mean? The broken handbook that was in the main hall. Isn't that one actually yours? What the heck are you talking about? What I mean is, I think Mondo swapped his handbook out for one that actually works. I think he took Leon's handbook and replaced it with his own. After all, Monokuma said himself that Leon's handbook never should have broken. That's right! The punishment it suffered wasn't nearly enough to destroy it. So then... The broken handbook in the main hall is actually Mondo's, which would mean that the handbook Mondo has right now is actually Leon's. Yes? But That's doesn't possible. That the school regulation that says loaning out your handbook is prohibited? Again, the barring, the loaning, whatever, let's just let it slide. Here's how I look at it. There is a rule about loaning your handbook to another student, but if they're dead, they're not a student. It's kind of a great area, I admit. Worries. If anything, it just makes things more interesting. Motherfucker. I decree that exchanging handbooks with a corpse is not a violation of the rules. Oh, wow. Well, Mondo, if I'm wrong about this, you're welcome to say so. I'm happy to admit I made a mistake, but... Son of a bitch. What's wrong, bro? C come on, tell him he's wrong. You are wrong. You have to be wrong. Everything you just said is wrong. You made it all up. Okay, then why don't we look back on this case one more time from the beginning? All right, time to rearrange the thing again, huh? And we'll... All right. Okay, picture closing arguments begin. All right, thank God we're not gonna do the stupid rhythm game thing. Okay. All right, so first off, there's that, that, that. 
Ding, 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 ding. There's the. Okay. Oh, it's just a bag and all that. All right. What's the? How many? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh yeah. Hold on a minute. Um. Uh, okay, that's not it. Where's the one that shows? Uh. Okay. So yeah, that's just. Uh, how do I? How do I? Uh. Oh fuck. How do I? Start. Help. Where are the buttons again? Aim. Left or right triangle. They forgot the T there. To navigate the comic. Press X to pick up pick up or pick down the truth panel. Reenact. Okay. Um How do I Oh, there we go, okay. So let's start here and the oh, okay, oops. Uh oh I have to hold it, okay. Bam, she left. Uh next up. Uh to the loo and at two AM or something like that. Uh Oh, no, no, that's that, and that's da, 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 da. go in there, and uh, I am st ah, there's a dead, ah, there's a wrong person, wrong door, whatever. Uh, okay, um, uh, okay. I don't know, this is definitely at the end of the thing, gotta remember that. Do, 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 do. Yeah, she's tired. Yeah, I can't. Okay. I actually keep remembering. It's always from right to left. It's always confusing like that, isn't it? Uh, okay, so. Do, do, do. Um. So it's in. Ah, it's, uh, oh fuck, wrong person or something. Uh, okay. I guess she left the bag there, so who knows. And then he's attempting to kill her! Bam! Slam! Ba damn! Damn! Dead lots of rupees. Uh, Uh, hold on. Okay. Da, 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 da. Uh, she's dead. And he left. Okay. Got that. Now she's carrying. He's carrying her. Okay. And leaving. Is that all from the left? Okay. How many more do we have left? One, two, three, four. Oh, shit. Oops. So maybe he is... Wait, hold on. Is it... Is it this one, maybe? Instead of that one? What's the difference between the two, actually? I have no idea. Oh, whatever. Okay. Um... Alright. Put that, put that there. Put the key card in. What is this thing? I have no idea. Clearly it did not work out. Oh yeah, they're actually adding some extra things in order to make it so that it's very hard to really decipher it. Alright, hold, hold on. Let's go all the way to the left, actually. To the end. Um, Act 5. Okay, so... Yeah, that's fucked up. Um, how many more seconds do we have? Oh, shit, we got 20 minutes. Okay. Um... Put the bloodlust there. Act five. I guess he threw away the uh card? I don't know. It's all carved to begin with anyway, so alright, act five, what's No, he didn't get rid of the blunt object. What's this part for? Maybe this door? Okay, so yeah, he just disposed of the weapon. Okay. Or the uh, evidence. We're missing this part. Okay. Um, looks like that one could fit there. Alright. The Let's reenact that. First, 
Let's take a look back to before the incident. All right. Last night, Celeste saw Chihiro in the warehouse, correct? At the time, she was apparently stuffing something into a duffel bag. No, I didn't lay out my reasoning right. I need to rearrange the evidence. Okay. Oh, shit. Apparently, I got that one wrong somehow. Uh, so, I'm guessing she left? It, what? Alright, what the hell did I get? Oh, shit. Oops. Okay, so I got that, one, that part wrong somehow. And obviously, I got penalized for it. Okay, so that can't be it, somehow. That don't look like it, though. Alright. Alright, so she noticed... the duffel bag? Alright, so I'm guessing the duffel bag is the... Th okay. That's where she was hiding the thing. Alright. And... Wait, hold on. Oops. No, it's that. She's going in. And she sees the murderer. Okay. Now this is the part where... Oh, she, oops. Wrong. This is the part that might be a little bit confusing for me. Oh, maybe... Okay, so maybe he was carrying the... Okay, that makes sense then. Alright, let's try that out. See what's up. Did I lose any hearts for getting it wrong, though? First. All right. Let's see if this is actually correct, though. Last night, at the time. All right. Got that. Ding, da, 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 ding. What's with the bag? Something was a blue tracksuit. You can confirm this, right, Celeste? Bye, -bye friend or whatever acquaintance. Bag in hand, Chihiro headed out, even though it was officially nighttime. She made her way to the locker room, specifically the boys' locker room. But how could the victim, who was apparently a girl, access the boys' locker room? Because he was a boy. Simple, because which is why right, he was able to use his own e-handbook to gain entrance to the boys' locker room. Once inside, he met with someone there, and the person he met was the one who killed him. All right, they, she actually knows the secret. And then he grabbed it! Seems likely that the killer grabbed the nearby dumbbell, approached the unsuspecting Chihiro. And attacked him. And that's where the blood stains on the poster and carpeting in the boys' locker room came from. was likely in the heat of the moment. The body was arranged, but the murder itself felt unplanned. Maybe it was an accidental murder? That could be it as well. Which is why the killer hurried to try and hide the act. First, pulling up the bloodstained carpet. Then, removing the bloody poster. Okay. Oh, shit, I do lose hearts for that. Okay, so this part is the one I got wrong, apparently. Alright, what? Oh, shit. Alright, so what's this part? Moving the blade poster. That? That's the exact same thing as that, so... I got three hearts, so I gotta be careful. So it's certainly not the door. That, it has to be something else. What other else is there? Uh, wait, hold on. Did he dispose of the weapon? Yeah, he had to carry the dumbbell as well, I guess. So, bam. I'm just gonna Here is hope that you. this is it. Let's go all the way to the beginning. Okay, good. We're in Act Three now. Is this it? The killer hurried to try and hide the act. First, 
pulling up the bloodstained carpet. Then, removing the bloody poster. Yeah, I lose an entire heart for that. Okay, so he didn't pick up the murder weapon to hide it as well. Okay. So that's not it, apparently. And then he... I guess he placed it onto this thing, and... I got two chances left. I have no fucking clue. Please tell me this is it. Why am I missing it? Oh shit, I got one life left. Uh, that's okay, because we got infinite tries, right? Okay, so it's not the door opening. Is it really this? Because that's the exact same thing as this. Why repeat the same thing? It's not the dumbbell, either. That's the only one we haven't tried yet. What the fuck? Really? The killer is Unless it's you. one of the early ones that we accidentally jumped the gun on. Which is dead. That has to be it, right? Okay, that's it. So I did something wrong in the future. And watch as everyone votes for me, huh? Why are they voting for me? I'm completely not the culprit. What the fuck? What the fuck, everyone? I got, like, what, two seconds left? Two minutes left, okay. To give up yet. Okay. Uh, is there any pen- Is there really a penalty for me, like, retrying over and over and over again? Because it seems like there's not a penalty at all. Aside from maybe me doing this all the shit. Oh, shit. Is that my penalty? I had to do all this shit again? <sighs> okay. Well, uh, let's reorganize this shit all over again. Put that there. Uh, yeah, that. Oh, no, oops. That, that. There we go, okay. Wait, hold on, that looks similar to... Oh, never mind. I thought that looks essentially similar to something else, but I guess, uh, I guess not, okay. Uh, ba -bum, ba -dam, ba -dam, ba -dam. And then he wears the picking up the thing. Picked up that. Okay. Blood splattered. Rolled out that. What was this part again? Oh yeah, rolled out the posters. As, wait, wait, no, that's not it. There we go. There it is. Shit. So. Oh shit, we left something here. There we go. Okay. So, we're missing something here, and it's something... Okay, so we should really go on in order this time. So it's clearly not that, because that's later on. I'm guessing he exited. I thought that was like him entering or something, but I guess not. Alright, put it in, put it out. This is the sauna? This looks like a sauna. This looks like the sauna, but it seems like her body's still placed in this area. Okay, hold on. Oh, fucking... Mm. I got plenty of tries, though, so it's not like I'm gonna really... get fucked or anything, right? So, let me see what the ones that are obviously... This one is that. This one is that, and so yeah, now it looks like a fucked up piece of money. The killer is. It's trial and error if I keep doing this, but at the same time, like I am, I'm kind of lost here. But I know exactly what happened, game. It's just that I need to put the order in perspective or whatever. That's. I'm going to skip this because I definitely don't want to like, continue through this over and over and over again. So the first one, because 
Sayaka was clearly gonna kill her. This one, was it an accident? Or was this planned? Seems like it was an accident, so... Like, hey, we're just gonna meet, having a meet... And the person... And then he was just, I guess, stretching, huh? Seems likely that the killer grabbed the nearby dumbbell. No, it's... And attacked it. Yeah, from the thing, it looked like it was intentional, definitely. And that's where the blood stains. Okay, so, bum, 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 bum. A dead hero. It was likely in the heat of the moment. The body was arranged. But the murder itself felt unplanned. Which is why the killer hurried to try and hide the act. First, pulling up the bloodstained carpet. Then, removing the bloody poster. Okay, so it's not the sauna part. Oh, what the fuck am I missing? That? <laughs> Let's try switching that you. now. See what happens. We haven't tried that on that uh, panel. That fucking panel fuck, keeps fucking me up. Goes to the girl's locker room. Okay, there we go. And finally carrying the corpse into the girl. A girl's handbook was necessary to get into the locker room, of course. But this alone doesn't prove that the killer was necessarily a girl. After all... Sayaka and Junko's handbooks had been placed in the main hall. Using one of those, a boy could get into the girl's locker room without much problem. And then I fucked up there somehow. Okay. So the sauna doesn't go yet. Or whatever, I don't know. Does it even have to do with the sauna? Because this thing's just really fucking me up thinking it is a sauna. Uh, okay, so maybe the sauna has nothing to do with this whatsoever. I guess this was the part where he... But... Fucking no. It's clearly not that, is it? So yeah, the song has nothing to do with whatever. Or maybe it's that one, actually. Yeah, to switch the fucking bodies and all that. It's either one or the other. Oh, whatever. I got infinite chances anyway. It doesn't seem like the game punished me for doing something wrong. After all, using... Okay, so that's that. There we go. And that's exactly with the carpet and the poster they brought with them. They got to work. They changed the layout of the boys and girls locker room in what you might call a crime scene switch. That could have been the end of things, but no. Byakuya discovered the body and decided to intervene in the situation, making things even more complicated. So, there we go. Stuffy went and grabbed the extension cord from the library, and then he got to work. Yeah, because the reason why I was confused about the whole sauna thing is the fact that the maybe he... Oh, no, whatever. Chihiro's lifeless body. Then, using the victim's own blood, he left a grisly message there at the scene of the crime. He wanted to create the illusion that Genocide Jack was responsible for the slaughter. And I fucked up that part too. Okay, okay. <laughs> or is this the sauna? I'm guessing that's the sauna then. Who, who the fuck knows? Let's reenact. You! There we go. Okay, so the sauna was like at the very end. <laughs> yeah, it makes no sense. Why would you carry the dead body? Or I'm sorry, I'm acting like an idiot there. The killer, having already disposed of Chihiro's bag and other belongings, arrived at the sauna. There, they planned to destroy the last piece of evidence. Chihiro's handbook. And just as the killer expected, the steamy sauna was enough to ruin the electronic gadget. Somehow, the killer knew that the handbook couldn't stand up to the heat of the sauna. And the reason they knew that is because the sauna had already wrecked their own handbook. And that's how it all played out. <laughs> Good guy looks creepy as well. Right, Mondo Arata. Okay. 
You have any disputes? Well, we'll sell that after the end of the game or whatever, so I think this is kind of... Actually, no, we haven't gotten to the mini the rhythm games yet, so I'm guessing that's what we're going to have. Anyways, be right back. <laughs> 